app for women by women released its initial public offering today. Bumble has 42 million active users and today its valuation skyrocketed to $13 billion. Bumble's founder is now the youngest female CEO of a public company. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock has more. Dating app Bumble makes history multiple times today. First making 31-year-old CEO Whitney Wolf Hurt, the world's youngest self-made female billionaire. And second, the youngest female CEO to take a major U.S. company public. If I can sit in this seat today, uh, it just goes to show that anything is possible and anybody can rebuild themselves. Hurt debuted the dating app back in 2014, building a brand all her own after being ousted from Tinder and stripped of her co-founder title there. Her golden idea, a platform that gives women the power to make the first move instead of just waiting around for men. And she's made a point to empower women in her boardroom as well. 70% of her board is female. It is really important to walk the walk, and so we've really prioritized gender diversity in our business. But the odds are still heavily stacked against women. Less than 3% of venture capital dollars go to female founders, and less than 1% to female founders of color. Big capital firms, um, still have some vestiges of uh, the good old boy network at the helm. So Beacon Economics researcher Adam Fowler says it's even more of a reason people may have wanted to invest in Bumble, which began trading well above its initial public offering price and is now valued at $13 billion. Don't underestimate the power of symbolism in this space. I think it's really important um, for young girls um, thinking about business school, thinking about uh, being entrepreneurial. Especially at an age where they're still thinking about who they want to be. Well, I think it's great for all women that, like, you know, it gives them the chance to see that, oh, I can do something big. I can become a CEO of a company. I can become a billionaire. Reporting in Pasadena, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. There is more news.